Hi Hollywood Lifers, it's Bonnie Fuller and I'm here today with Diana Falzone and we're here because of Valentine's Day and I think it's really important that we talk about relationships and the celebrity relationships that we've seen that have gone wrong, that um, may be going wrong, <laughs> and that are going right. And so why don't we talk first about Katy Perry at the Grammys and I mean what a revenge song, like that was such a public public move of revenge, uh, her performing the song Part of Me mm -hmm. and saying things like you chewed me up and spit me out like I was poison in your mouth. I was watching it and I looked at my fiance and I said, are you kidding me? She's totally getting revenge on him. And I thought, is this really the right time? Is this the right platform? Shouldn't you guys handle this in divorce court? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's not like they've handled the divorce um, privately at all. Mm -hmm. I mean, he filed divorce papers blindsiding her. He didn't talk about it with her mm -hmm. beforehand. Uh, so I think she probably feels, well, he did it in a public way. He filed the papers. So why shouldn't I, after having been publicly dumped, at least have the public last say? There's something about airing your dirty laundry. It just doesn't make anyone look good. It's better for Russell Brand in this case to look like the bad guy. I mean, he went and spoke about their personal life when he shouldn't by filing divorce papers, by blindsiding her. She could have probably done the more class A thing by just keeping her mouth shut and just putting on a good show. But everyone handles their, their hurt differently. So if this is her way of getting it out, then more power to her. Taylor Swift talks about all her ex-loves all the time. Mm -hmm. I mean, she, and she writes about them. You're so music. mean. Last night, that's at, right. Mm -hmm. You're so mean that we know that was about an ex. So I guess that um, you know, for there's different ways to handle things. Yes. I can tell you that the Hollywood lifers were, I mean, just raving about the song. Like they were really into the fact that she stood up for herself yeah. publicly. They, they found it empowering. But we all have different opinions. Now, Kim Kardashian stepping out for lunch with her ex, Reggie Bush. Mm. And it's only been a couple months since she filed for divorce. And, I mean, they didn't exactly do it in a hidden away place. They did it in the Beverly Hills Hotel, wow. which is a pretty well-known spot. Yeah, and you know paparazzi is going to be there, especially when it has anything to do with Kim Kardashian. It's not always a good idea to revisit your past with an ex, especially an ex that has had a, a shady background. There was allegations that Reggie Bush either cheated or flirted with other girls while they were dating and that he was commitment phobic. So I don't know, unless she's trying to find some sort of closure from this, why she's talking to Reggie again, unless there's just this flame that never burnt out for her. Maybe she never got over him in the first place. Right. Reggie, I mean. Right. And their marriage was just this little interlude. More of a rebound relationship than an right. actual an actual real love. I mean, Chris Humphreys at this point, I'm I'm hearing or seeing that he's getting more of a backbone standing up for himself and saying, I don't want money, I don't want anything, I just want the divorce on my terms. Which takes a lot, especially with a brand like the Kardashians. But they they got married too quickly. I mean, bottom line. Another couple that's taking things slower, and I think the right way, mm -hmm. Justin Bieber and Selena Gomez, they're in town here in New York. Um, yesterday, they went out for lunch to Hooters of all places. They've been there before. It's for the wings, Bonnie. <laughs> Everyone no, loves the wings. Apparently, it's the fried pickles. <laughs> apparently, Selena loves the fried pickles. So they had lunch at Hooters, and then they went out for dinner at a Vietnamese restaurant here in town. And at both places, we talked to the, the wait staff. They said they were lovely. They were friendly. Mm -hmm. They were didn't ask for anything special. They left great tips. They were very affectionate and seemed in love. I mean, they just... Oh, and Selena talked in Cosmo about how she wants a relationship with somebody who just will be normal. Mm -hmm. I think they're the cutest couple going in Hollywood. I really do. They're a great example, great role models. And I think they realize that they're under the limelight. They can't avoid it, so why not just embrace it? They're grateful and appreciative for the fame and the celebrity that they have, which I think so many of the stars aren't. They just say, oh, I don't want the paparazzi. Meanwhile, they're making calls to be photographed. So at least they're outwardly showing their fans that they can see a little bit of their life, and that's a better way to deal with it than try to keep things secret. Because when you keep things secret, especially your relationship, you can't live in a cave. You have to live. No, and that's what Selena said. They want to be as normal as possible, and that's what they're being. Apparently, they were very low-key in mm -hmm. both places. There was a body 
bodyguard, but that's it, no entourage. Like a bodyguard who, you know, left them alone, right. but was there, I guess, in case they ran into any trouble. Safe, I think they're smart. handling, you know, like I think most relationships, handling things slow. And speaking of relationships, we have to say happy Valentine's Day and happy engagement to you. Thank you. We hear you just got engaged. I did, I Show did. Show us the ring. Yay, last week <laughs> in Puerto Rico on my birthday. So I'm very, very lucky to be marrying a great guy named Rob. Well, so. Muzzel Tov on behalf of all of, <laughs> all of HollywoodLife.com. And happy Valentine's Day, everybody. Bye. <laughs>